Jeff the Plumber here from the Plumber's Garage. So you've seen my other videos discussing low flow toilets. I showed you some of the internal parts as you can see laid out here on the bench. Um, I showed you the inside of an old tank that used five gallons per flush. But I didn't really talk about toilets, the design, the design of the new toilets. That's the trick. See, all the toilet company manufacturers that are out there and the big three, American Standard, Kohler, Toto. Those are the big three toilet makers out there right now. They all make excellent toilets that use low flowing water. The trick is the parts that are inside. Most of them will all advertise these funny videos. You can look at those on the YouTube if you want to. That flush golf balls or ping pong balls or these little funny little... Um, styrofoam things that are supposed to simulate number two they all flush good but that's under pristine perfect conditions and in the real world we don't live like that so don't always believe the toilets so you say your wife likes a particular toilet because of the way it looks sometimes style doesn't beat function some of them toilets are excellent and some of them are not You'll see me, if you have any questions, you can always call me and ask me if this toilet is good or not good, and I will tell you. In fact, I use a toilet that's an off-ran, that's made in the Kohler factory, but not Kohler, and it's called ProFlow. It uses 1.28 gallons per flush, but you only have to flush it once. Some 1.28s in the old days, you had to flush several times, and again, that was because of the parts that were inside of it. Modern day toilet, 1.28, most of them flush well. You just have to get past that. Now they are coming out with toilets that use 0 0.085 per flush. And that's exciting and scary at the same time. But those people over in Japan, where they have so many people in such a shortage of water, um, they do the same thing as us, right? They eat, so the number two is involved. So they need toilets that flush well. So, Toto, the brand, that I mentioned earlier, that comes out of Japan. They have a lot of toilets now made by that company that are excellent. They are pricey and they cost you more. We're talking $500 to $5,000, but they are toilets that are guaranteed not to flush. Now there's another toilet which I didn't bring any parts for or show you because it's not very common. It's called the Flushmaster toilet and it has a big cylinder tank inside of it and when you flush it, it sounds like a rocket ship. Kind of scares the little kids. So, yes, you can get parts for it. Yes, I can fix it. But it's not very commonly sold. Again, because of the price range. It gets up $500 or more for cost. Most of the toilets that use these parts are all going to be under $500. So now let's talk price. You go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Osh, and you see a toilet that says $89. I know you've seen it, you're like, 89 bucks, I'm going to buy that toilet because it's cheap and it's, it's good, right? Because they wouldn't sell it if it wasn't. Well, guess what? It uses some of these parts that are not so good. That's why it's cheap. So, you want to avoid that. Starting price for a good toilet is about 225 to 325 You want to look in that price range, get a 1.28 in that price range, and it'll give you excellent flush. So it's Jeff the Plumber, talking toilets. If you got a problem with your toilet, you know you can call me. You know my number. It's always here at the end of the videos. So you'll see it. Just holler at me and we can talk toilets anytime. I hope I answered all your questions for those people who are out there. And if you still got questions, you know how to find me. Jeff the Plumber at gmail.com. Send me a quick email and I'll get back to you. Again, Jeff the Plumber from the Plumber's Garage. Until next time, may peace be with you.